Hey everyone, so today we're just going to talk about API callouts. So an API callout is basically any HTTP call that accesses an external website or URL. So the way to create that is just go into the gear icon on the top right, click on developer console. And once we're in here, just go to file on the top left, click on new Apex class. So we'll just call this make get call out and start that. So sweet. So up next, we need to instantiate a new HTTP object. But before we need to do that, we need to just quickly create a public string. Just call this get content. And in there, we'll just put a string URL. All right. So now we need to put all the important stuff in here. We'll just do HTTP equals new HTTP. And next HTTP request. Let's call that REQ equals new HTTP request. Then what we want to do is we want to use that request and set our endpoint. So if you just type req.s, you can select here what you want. So we want to select the endpoint because in here, what we want to do is we want to put in the URL that we're trying to hit. Okay. And then we'll just do a, another request. So in this request, we just want to set the method. So we'll just use, sorry, not get method, but we just want to use the set method. Okay. And lastly, we, we just need to send a request and return a response. So let's just put HTTP response. Let's call that res equals h dot send request. Okay. And then we just want to return it. So we want to turn response and get the body. Okay, so it looks like we've got a couple of problems here. So let's just see what's happening here. Do, do, do. Mm. Oh, okay, so sorry, I forgot to put in the get method in there. Okay, because we're trying to get it. That's pretty simple. So we got all of this working now, right? So up next, we want to use a URL, okay, that we can put in here. So at the moment, I just got a simple little URL from Trailhead, which actually returns animals. So what I can do is just copy the URL, paste it in there, and we should see Trailhead is awesome, I guess. So if we've got that right there, what we wanna do up next is just go into, we'll copy this here just to check if that works. So copy that, go into debug, open it on this window, close all of that, okay, and paste this in here. So now what we wanna do is just create a system dot debug. Okay, so in here we wanna get the response, all right? So we're just gonna use this res dot get body. Just put that in there and that should be it. Wait, oh, sorry. So we do not do not want to return a value right now. So just remove that because we're in the anonymous window. Okay, so we've got a one more problem. We need to go into remote site settings in Salesforce. So if I go into setup, just type in remote. So we've got remote site settings here. So we need to add a new remote site. So what this means is we need to put the actual URL into remote site setting. Otherwise this is not going to work and just make sure it's active as well. So now, now that we've got that done, that's all good. We should be able to execute that now. Perfect. 
So if we go into our logs, we click on this top one here, go debug log, we can see that we are getting that response that we got from this. So that means this is working perfectly. All right.